Assalamualaikum my dear students, welcome to our program for Science 6 Primary Stage. Today we have another session about general revision, about our curriculum. We have many questions to answer, we have many information to revise with you. Let's start our session today and concentrate with me very well. Let's start the first one. Here we have an activity about what's about the which substance will collect or conduct electric energy or electricity. So here we have one of them. It's what? It's mercury here. Mercury, it's only liquid metal. And at the room temperature. And we can conduct, it can conduct electric energy as its structure contains free electrons. What's meant by free electrons? It means electric charges. So here we have this one, or mercury, it makes a conduction of electric energy to the lamp. From what? From the battery. So if I turn off like this, we have no lamp here to light up. And if I turn on, we have the light bulb that light up like this. And we have many things like this. We have the glass. If I instead this one by glass, it's very easy to know. If I turn on this electric circuit, and the electric circuit here, it means the battery and lamp. And here we have the connection part. And here we have the key. Key, it means on and off to close the electric circuit like this and to open the electric circuit like this. This is opened one. And if I turn on, I close the electric circuit. Here, in these two cases, we have glass here. So the glass is insulator because its structure doesn't contain any charge or any electric charge that carries out. So here we have no light, light energy that happened here. Also we have wood. If I instead wood by glass and turn on this one, it's what wood is an insulator because its structure doesn't contain any charges. So the wood or plastic or any one of these materials that has nothing to conduct the electric energy. After that, if I instead want this one or replace the wood by iron nail, what will happen? Iron is a conductor mister. Yes, it's very good. Why? Because here the light energy that appears to us like this. So it's iron doesn't conduct because, or iron does conduct because, does conduct it means it conduct electric energy. Because is a metal. And so the structure contains what? Contains free electrons which act as a charge carries. So here this is one of these materials. If I have the toy like this, can this toy, it's made of plastic, can this toy conduct electric energy? Yes. Okay. It's, it can? No. If I have this is turn on this electric circuit, so here we have the insulator. It doesn't make any, any conduction of the heat energy or electric energy. So here this lamp, it doesn't make any light here. But if I have another one like what, like the NACL or salt solid like this, I turn on this material, so or this circuit. So here, ionic substance like sodium chloride or table salt don't conduct electric energy. Why? Because it is a solid material that has no free charges to move. It is a solid. It has nothing to move. It has no charges to move inside. If I have the, how can we make this one, or how can we make this, this table salt make connection? I know this one. I know the NaCl or or salt solution. It makes what? It makes the connection. Why? Because here water it makes the salt its free charges here to move when dissolved with water ionic substance or charges here conduct electricity because the ions here it has what it is a parts of the material here that dissolve in water forming what forming the electric charges so here this is for information about NaCl solution or NaCl solid or table salt solid or solution it's what it's for information not for the exam after that we have the copper here if I put the copper so here we have what turn on this one it's copper it's a good conductor of electric energy or good conductor of heat energy also because the structure contains free electrons. What's meant to buy free electrons? It means free charges to pass electric energy from the battery to the key to the this part of conductor and we have what and the electric light bulb. So here this is about the 
which substance will conduct electricity so we have two types of two types of what of the materials number one and number two let's go to see the comparison about them so here we have the comparison between the good conductor and bad conductors of electricity number one here we have number one about this one i have the table like this so the table here points of comparison and we have the good conductors of electricity and we have bad conductors of electricity so good conductors they are what we need here in this one we have the definition definition it means what it means what's meant by each one of them good conductors of electricity they are substances that conduct electric energy and the other one they are substances that don't conduct electric energy so here we have the definition of each one of them another one we have the examples here examples we have all metals such as what such as aluminum copper and iron and we have bad conductors of electricity we have wood and glass and wool so here wood it doesn't make any any conduction glass it has no nothing about the conduction and we have wool here wood and the glass and wool they are what they are bad conductors why because they have no charges to move inside so they don't allow the heat energy or electric energy to move so good conductor the all metals such as aluminum copper and iron and we have the bad conductors like what like the wood or glass or wool so here we have what we have another comparison compare between the second class and third class of levers so after that we have point of comparison here it's very important one and we have this one in the exam because what because we have many types of levers here that found between so the second class of liver it's what it's the third class in the third point so here we have the structure or what's meant to buy each one of them so the second class of liver we have load exists or lies between the fulcrum and the effort force again load it means resistance it's found between fulcrum and effort force so it is the structure of the second class lever load it means resistance it's found between fulcrum and effort force so it is the structure of the second class lever and the third class lever we have another structure or we have effort force exist between fulcrum and load load it means resistance force so here load or resistance they are both of them are right so the effort force exists between fulcrum and load so this is the structure of the third class and we need examples about each one of them and we have benefits here first so here the second class lever and third class lever second class it always has mechanical benefits the mechanical benefits it means it makes a saving effort or time and the third class it has no mechanical benefit mechanical benefits here it means doesn't save effort on time so we have this is benefits here or each one of them we have it always save efforts on time in the second class and in the third class it doesn't save effort or time completely but it makes a very important thing for us it protect our bodies from danger why because here we have dangers here it means burning it means hurting it means a breaking of a part of our of our hand for example this is what or our legs so they are protect our body from this danger and it makes another thing about protection it's we have increased the distance increased the speed of some some materials like what like the body that move by hockey pad for example in third class so the third class here it makes what increasing the ball if we play the hockey so this is about third class and after that we need some examples about second class and third class and benefits here effort to arm always longer than the resistance arm so it is the reason of the first one and after that we have an example i need examples of the second class we have nutcracker bottle opener wheelbarrow okay for example we have stapler some kind of staplers okay they are second class of lever and third class of lever we have another one effort arm is always shorter than resistance arm because what because it has no saving of effort or time and the effort arm is always shorter than the resistance arm 
this is the reason of the point before and after that we have cold tongue examples we have cold tongue ice holder tweezers fish fish tools hockey pad any one of them to make or manual broom they are examples of the third class to make what to make protection of my body and doesn't save effort or time let's go to see another one about these questions here we have another question it's called complete the following it's very easy one I need to know or I need to put one word or one sentence in the space so here the law of the verse state that effort force or effort times its arm equal resistance times its arm again we have the law of liver it is very important to know this because we have many problems that we needed to make what to make solving of these problems about the livers so the livers here we have effort times its arm equal resistance times its arm so here this is the law of liver the state that and after that we have this one type of livers that always conserve effort and time is which one first class or second class or third class we have nothing except them we have here we have second class that makes conserve effort and time so here is the type of liver that always conserve effort and time is second class so after that we have the other one or the third class doesn't conserve effort or time after that we have when earth lies between moon and sun when earth lies between moon and sun what's happened the earth lies between moon and sun it makes what lunar eclipse so the lunar eclipse takes a place when the earth lies between moon and sun and we have moon exist between the sun and earth which thing that's happened it's very easy solar eclipse here we have the two information in one sentence but in the exam for example we have one sentence and one answer for each one of them so when the earth lies between moon and sun lunar eclipse takes place but when moon exists between sun and earth we have solar eclipse is happened after that another one of these sentences the tool used to change electric energy to light energy is what which one that we use it to change electric energy to light energy it's about what it's about the electric bulb so we have light bulb or we have fluorescent lamp or we have lamp if you write lamp or light bulb or fluorescent lamp all of them are right so the tool that we use to change electric energy to light energy is light bulb fluorescent lamp any one of them is right another one of these questions we have give reason for the following it's a very easy one and we can make any information or write the information related to the sentence in this one to get the full mark in this question let's go to see this one second class of liver conserve effort why say why the second class of liver conserve effort or save effort and time because what because here we have the effort arm is always longer than resistance arm so here we have the effort arm is always longer than the resistance arm it means i make little amount of effort to make high resistance move again this information again if i make in the second class i do some kind of effort a very little amount of effort to move large amount of of what large amount of resistance to make what to make this lever so the second class of lever conserve effort to be called the effort the army is always longer than the resistance arm after that we have the third class of lever always doesn't save effort it's very easy to know this because the effort to arm is always shorter than the resistance arm so it is the opposite of the second class second class of liver always don't save effort why because the effort arm is always shorter than the resistance arm after that we have the force and the resistance can be equal only in the first class lever why because we have two reasons number one we have the because the fulcrum is found between resistance and force or between the load and force or effort force and the second one it's what if i write this one i have the effort arm 
may be equal the resistance R. So this is another right answer because the fulcrum is found between resistance and force. So this one it's what it's because the fulcrum is found between resistance and force. After that, we have another type of questions that called problems, and it's very important to know this one. Calculate the force R of a lever if the force is four weight and we have resistance arm is two centimeter its resistance is 10 weight so here we have three numbers and I need to calculate the fourth one so here the calculate the force arm here I need to calculate the force arm so here I need how many centimeters of the force arm let's go to see the answer here we have the answer of this one force arm times force equal resistance arm times its the resistance times its arm so here this is the force arm equal resistance times resistance arm divide force or divide effort force so here we have 2 times 10 divide 4 again 2 times 10 2 it's represent what represent the force arm 2 centimeter and the resistance here or resistance here it's 2 weight and we have 10 it's what it's the resistance equal 10 weight and we have the resistance arm is 2 centimeter and we have divide 4 4 it means force or effort force 4 weight so equal what equal 5 centimeter after that we have another one of these problems calculate the force of a lever if the resistance is 3 weight its arm is 6 centimeter and its arm or the arm of force is 9 centimeter it's very easy also to make what to make this information so the answer will be the force times its arm but the resistance times its arm so the force equal equal what 3 times 6 divide 9 equal 2 weight so 3 times 6 equal 18 divide 9 equal 2 weights so here this is the answer of these problems or these types of questions here we have another type of questions here or type of revision here that stru structure of the light bulb so the filament here it is the first one coiled thin wire is the definition of this one made of tungsten that is a good conductor of electricity again we have the filament here it's found in the bulb it is the main part of the light bulb that makes a changing of the electric energy to heat energy and then we have light energy so the filament here is called thin wire from tungsten made of tungsten that is a good conductor of electricity why we use tungsten specially here we have another type of question look at the following figure and label the numbers and in the same time mention the function of each part let's go to see the first one here we have the structure of light bulb filament it's what it is the main part of our of our lamp or light bulb why because it is a coiled thin wire from tungsten that is a good conductor of electricity it is a very good one for electric energy and the heat energy in the same time so this one it's a special part that found in our electric bulb why because what because it is made of metal and it's found in the metal here and it is a good conductor of electricity so we have another reason about this we have here this is the filament here tungsten is used in the bulb because it's the reason of we use it of we use this filament in the bulb because what because here the bulb has high melting point and very high amount of this melting point that protect them from melting if i have the metal that melt here in the bulb so here we have no light energy to produce why because i need a metal to make what to make increasing of or to has because it has high melting point and doesn't burn easily doesn't melt easily because i need light energy for longer time so the filament here or tungsten is used in the bulb because its melting point is a very high that protect our lamp from what from melting from damaging and so on so after that we have another part of the filament here or we have another part of the light bulb we have glass bulb this glass bulb is like this because what because the function of this one 
prevent the air from reaching the filament to thus protect it from burning. Again, it's make protection of the light bulb or internal part of light bulb and the gas inside from air. If I have the air or I have one hole that has what? That the bulb that contain or replace, can replace the gas inside by air. So here we have the bulb it damaged. Electric or light bulb will be damaged. Why? Because the function of this one prevent the air from reaching the filament. If I have the air reaching reach to the filament, we have damaging of the light bulb. Why? Because it has what? It has many gases that that prevent making the light for longer time. That prevent that prevent production of light energy and heat energy in the light bulb for longer time without damaging. After that, we have another one or another part here about this structure. We have the glass bulb also. It contains what? It contains argon gas. This argon gas instead of air because out or to increase what? Or to increase the life of the filament. So here it contains a type of energy gas that's called the argon. What's meant to buy energy gas? It's a very lazy gas. It doesn't make any reaction. It keeps the light bulb for a long time without damaging. Why? Because it doesn't make any reaction or doesn't affect it by the heat energy or magnetic energy or electric energy or any type of energy. So I need this argon for, for information. I need large amount of heat energy or large amount of electric energy to, to make the electric or to make reaction. But if in the normal state, we have this argon gas doesn't make any reaction, like helium gas, for example. So here we have it contains here the argon gas. It's called argon gas instead of air to increase the life of the filament. So the life of filament, it will be increased by what? By the filament here to make what? To make the filament light for a longer time without damaging it. After that, we have another part about this light bulb. So here, this is metallic base. And this metallic base, it's found like this here. So the metallic base, we have many parts of this lamp. We have bulb, we have filament, we have filling gas, we have lead wires, we have metallic wires, heat deflex deflecting disc, and we have fuse, and we have exhausting tube. Many, many parts of this lamp, okay? To make what? To make the light energy found in this lamp or made by this lamp for a longer time without damaging without finishing so metallic base it is one of the important parts of the lamp here so the carries it carries the lamp upright and connected the lamp with what with electric circuit again it carries the lamp the parts of the lamp inside it carries carry it carries all parts of the lamp electric bulb or light bulb and we have glass bulb, for example, filament, wires, electric wires, or copper wires, or lead wires, or the exhausting tube, anything that's carried by this base. So here, the lamp, or upright, it makes the lamp upright, okay? And connect the lamp with the electric circuit, there are two types of these bases. The first one is a spiral, and we have the second one is two nail base. We have here base, here, in this shape, we have a spiral one. And we have the nail base, it's found between or the two sides of what of the of the sides of the of this base. And we have the lead piece that found in the last part of this base here. It's the spiral one. After that, we have a shape of lunar eclipse here. This lunar eclipse is very important to know this one. We have Earth that found between Moon and Sun. So Earth here, if I have the Earth that found between Moon and Sun, so we cannot see the Moon completely because the Moon is found in, in the area that called the Umbra. It means shadow of Earth. So the shadow of Earth that falling down on the Moon, so I cannot see the phase of Moon and I cannot see the Moon completely. So here, it's found here. The Earth is found here between Moon and Sun. So we have total lunar eclipse if they are, is, they are found on one straight line. The sun, earth and moon. One straight line between what? Between the centers of each one of them in one straight line. So the earth 
can completely cover the phase of moon in the middle of the lunar months. So here, the, in the middle of lunar months or lunar eclipse, it takes place in two or two times per year. Why? Because here we have the phase of moon that found here. After that, we have another shape about solar eclipse. Solar eclipse is one of the shapes that found here, moon that found between earth and sun. So the moon is found here between earth and sun. So this one, the moon, it makes a shadow on earth. So here, anyone or any person on the earth's surface in the area of the shadow of moon, so we cannot see anyone of these parts here. So before, before a uh, little period of time, we have what? We have some information about the sun and earth and moon here in solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. So the moon here, okay, it's very small. So the sun, it's more than the moon, more 400, 400 times. And we have the distance between moon and earth, it's, or the distance between the earth and sun, it is more than the distance between earth and moon by 100, uh, 400 times. So here, the same size of same size of moon okay that found here on the on the sun on the sun face so i cannot see the sun completely from the solar eclipse or from the earth's surface in the case of solar eclipse which part or which type of solar eclipse total solar eclipse if the moon is moves away from the earth in a last or a small distance or short distance higher than its normal state or normal orbit so we have annular solar eclipse i see the sun as one ring okay that found in the in the sky dear friends i hope to enjoy your time with us you have many questions to study you have many questions to revise in your books try to revise this information about the whole curriculum because the exam is close to to each other so here we have many information to study, many information to revise. Tell you meet again in another session about final revision. Tell you meet again. Thank you and goodbye everybody.